Welcome back guys. My name is Pawan Jaiswal. In this Java tutorial, we will see how to create a Java Pojo. Sounds funny, right? But Pojo is a, a very well known term in Java world. Pojo stands for plain old Java object. It's like a bean which just have got a data member and the respective data setter method. This is the POJO which will not have any business logic. It is like a plain container which can be accessed anywhere in other containers and then will help us to initialize data members through their respective getters and setters. So let's quickly create a plain POJO for a person class. I am already having a project created Java for beginner. And in a package called form.pawan.jaiswal, now I am creating another new class. The name of that class is person. So this person class is being uh, made to get a pojo. That's plain old Java object. And the rest of the things like author name. And website which you can refer somewhere later when you use the time. Alright, so in this person, I like to make this pojo for following members. Say age of a person, say name of a person, and say city of a person. Right? Now, as I said that we are not interested to have any other business logic, but at least to call this POJO, we must need to have public getter and setter methods. Getter method will allow you to fetch back the values of data member. Setter method will help you to set the values to these data members. So, let's, there are two ways now. Either you can write everything by your own or you can create it automatically so let's create it automatically for one field so right click on editor click on source and generate getter setter let's create it for age okay so here it goes we got a get age method which returns age of type addition what happens while creating a, a getter setter method they detects the data member name and you know prefix get or set to it. In case of getter, it would always return back the respective data type value. In case of setter, it would always take an argument for respective type value. And as we like to set this formal argument with this data member, so in order to have a current instance, we are making use of this dot h. I guess this is very simple to understand. Now let's create another getter and setter. Initially create a getter for say name. So public type of name is tree get name. Getter will never take an argument. It would always return a value. Say name. And it's respect to setter. Public setter will never return an argument. It would be void. It would always take an argument, so it would be of same type. And now, using this dot name, we will set it back. Simple, right? Now, getter and setter for city. Public string get city with no argument and uh, return city. Now public void set city which must need to take an argument say city which will use that formal argument to initialize data member for the city. Fair enough. Now let's access this method from a main function. Either you can have a main function to be created in the same class. But that's not a good idea. You should always have 
only data members and data setters in a pojo and you should have some another class from where you like to access it. So uh, let's create another class. Say name of that class is a main class which will have just a main method main class which need to have a main method and then from this main class we we'll like to call these functions by get a setup. So create an object in earlier videos we have even seen how to create an object. Say create an person object object with new person and now uh, use this object to call setter and getter. So ob dot set age say age is four years ob dot set name say name is uh, and then ob dot set city say city is full name right now you have set them you like to get them now so sys out let me use sys out say i can say age is so ob dot get age similarly i can say sys out system dot out dot print align say name and then name of boy say ob dot get name and then sys out for city so city ob dot get city here we go so let us run this press control f11 if everything goes fine you shall be able to see this three values yes here it is age 4 name vidya and city pune so quickly device what have we done we created a plain pojo, a person pojo, which has got three data members, one of type integer and two of type string. Now we have created a getter setter for them. Getter will never take an argument, but it would always return a type of respect to thing. So we like to return an age from this get age, and its respect to setter will always take an argument of respect to data type, and will initialize the data member. There are two ways to have getter setter. Either you can create it by IDE by right clicking on IDE, clicking on source, and then generating getter setter. As we already created, so it will not allow to do that again. Or you can write them manually. Now it's better that you just have getter setter and data members into uh, this thing, I mean a pojo, and then you have a separate class which will be accessing that pojo from that class. So in this main method, we created an object of this person pojo, and then we set all the attributes like age, name, city, and then using getters, we have fetched them back. And this is an output that we are able to see it now. Hope you understood this video. Hope you understood the significance of pojo, and you like to apply them in your Java world. Thank you for watching this video. You can refer other videos on this website. Thanks again. Have a good day.